here for the 12 furlong group 2 jockey club stakes at Newmarket for four year old horses now we've got Belladonna the 9 to 2 favourite Ishtu de Vere for Leon Van Rensburg Phantom a big price there for Paul Rhodes San Antonio Pichi for Vinnie Gerard, Tides out and Bomber Man, Ryan Tamasevi, Cruz on by for Craig Beckwith. Here's Atkins, Steve Ran, Ilazoria Bauer, and Untold Desires, two Craig Allen runners. And we've got Nogales for D. Thompson, Tyrol Fabulous for Dan Hughes, and your joint favourite is Queen of Night for Leon Van Rensburg. And the stalls open and away they go to a pretty level break. So expecting Belladonna yet there to move forward into that early position, that pace setting position that she likes. And it worked so well for in the Shima Classic in Dubai. And Queen of Night, who got the gaps all too late in that race to burst through and to be second, is already looking like uh, traffic, race traffic, might be a problem with her position over on the rail uh, towards the rear of the field, up alongside her stablemate Ish to De Vere. Uh, both of those for Leon van Rensburg. Also towards the rear of the field, we've got San Antonio Pichi, a winner on debut, and Bon Mamam as well. But out in front, it's Bella Donna. A good couple of lengths in front. She's really going to have to do well to hold all of these challenges off on bottomless ground here at Newmarket. And she's certainly not holding back in terms of the pace that's being set up front. And that means there's already a few lengths lead uh, to Phantom in second place. That one for Paul Rhodes. And that one's joined up on the outside of, uh, by Tyrol Fabulous and Tides out in behind those. And travelling nicely on the rail is Cruz on by. And Ilazoria Bowers travelling strongly as well on the outside of that one for Craig Allen. His other runner Untold Desires out further wide on the track in those green and gold hoops. Just about to be joined by Nogales. Uh, Cruz on by has moved off the rail, uh, maybe just in advance, so you can see that one angling out and getting wider and wider, but then moving back in, it's already wanting to make a move forward, but the gaps just aren't there, and you can already anticipate with five furlongs left to go that Queen of Night and Ishtu de Vere are going to have to uh, hope the gaps open up for them really nicely, so four and a half furlongs to travel. And Belladonna now is going to be pressed up and challenged on the outside by here Zetkin. Tides out and Phantom just in beside those. Illusoria Bauer and Nogales both still travelling very strongly. Queen of Night has just got nowhere to go in behind him and is having to be ridden super patiently but still travelling very, very nicely. And on the bridle for Leon Van Rensburg, Ishtu de Vere has moved on the wide outside. So that one's got nothing but daylight in front of it and you can see it's eaten up the ground. So two and a half furlongs to go. It's Belladonna in the lead. About half a length back to Z here Zetkin who's trying to come up alongside the long-time leader. Tyrol Fabulous staying on there in third and coming with a run. Ishtu de Vere looks a real danger on the outside. Phantom Nogales tides out. They're all still there. Queen of Night has finally got the racing room but only has a furlong left to go to make up this ground and it's here. Zekin Phantom coming there for Paul Rhodes but Ishtu de Vere has now hit the front and it's going to be really hard for anything to pull it back in. Queen of Night, the, finally, the gap finally came but the line also came too soon. The gap didn't come early enough, the line came too soon and it's another unlucky second for that horse but perhaps the trainer won't mind this time as the horse that's crossed the line in front also happens to be one from the Swartland stable. Each two of all wins very cosily here in the Jockey Club at 6-1. to one. Just ahead of stable mate Queen of Night, Nagala stayed on really well for third place there. Uh, Illusoria Bauer who was travelling so strongly for Craig Allen too, out stayed on into fourth and Phantom. Looked really uh, likely to mount a challenge there in the final furlong, but just weakened out into fourth on this soft ground for Paul Rhodes.